I'd like to start this off with a question. How many people know what air traffic controllers really do? I know some people tend to think that we're the guys with the orange flashlights that wave at planes and direct them from here to there. Well, this is far from what we actually do. We are actually key and instrumental from in getting each and every aircraft from the ground to the air. We have different positions in the control tower, and I'm going to tell you how each position correlates to getting that aircraft from the ground to from the ground to the air. Now, once you're airborne, you also have to be able to land. So, the air traffic control tower is also key and instrumental in getting each plane from the air to the ground. So I'd also like to tell you how each position correlates to getting their, each and every aircraft from the air down to the ground and how we keep them safe and make sure everybody has a good flight. So let me begin with this. The very first step in the process for a plane to be able to depart is to have a flight plan on file. To accomplish this, they're going to have what we call as a flight progress strip. It's this rectangular piece of paper that has all the pertinent information we need for each and every aircraft to depart. The flight data controller is going to ensure that all this information is correct. He's going to check for the call sign of the aircraft, whatever he's calling himself for the day. Uh, he's going to make sure that it has what type of aircraft on it, and it also has his departure route on it as well. Now, he's also going to get past all the pertinent information to the pilot for the day. He's going to make sure he knows whatever the weather is for the day to make sure that it's safe for them to fly. He's also going to tell them what runway we're actually going to be departing from for that day and any other pertinent information to the airfield. Now once the flight data controller passes all that information onto the pilot and he ensures that that flight progress strip is correct, he's going to pass that flight progress strip over to the ground controller. Now the ground controller is going to be listening for aircraft to call them up ready taxi. So he's going to hear something on the lines as uh, 10 to ground, bones one's ready to, for the, uh, bones one ready for a taxi, on a pan 15. So he tells him his call sign and he's going to let him know that he's ready to depart or he's ready to taxi. Now once the ground controller hears this, this triggers information to him that he needs to find the flight progress strip again, which looks like this again, and he's going to pick that up and he's going to look at it. He's going to see, he's going to verify that the, the departure route that he gave him was correct and he's going to verify the call sign and he'll verify the type of aircraft. Now once he has that information in, he's going to taxi the aircraft. So he'll say something like uh, Bones 1, 10 on ground, runway 13 right, taxi via whatever taxiway he's going to go on and he's going to tell him he's cleared on the, his PAM-15 that he asked for. Now once that aircraft begins to taxi, the ground controller is responsible for making sure that no other aircraft crossing his crosses in his vicinity and he's going to make sure that he has a safe and fast taxi route to the runway. Now once that aircraft gets to the end of the runway, the ground controller is going to pass that strip over to what we call as a local controller. Now this is the most sought out position at all of them. Everybody wants to be in local control because it's the funnest one. You get to talk to the planes in the air, you also get to talk to the plane moving on the ground. And your job is to separate everybody and make sure everybody lands safely and departs safely. So once that aircraft gets to the end of the runway, he's going to call up the local controller and he's going to say something on the lines as Tino Tower Bones 1 ready for departure. Now once the local controller hears this, his next job is to make sure that the runway is free and clear for that guy to depart. He's going to make sure that no other aircraft is uh, on an approach to come, click, come to land on that runway. He's going to make sure nobody else is uh, taxiing across it. He's going to make sure that uh, nobody else is clear for takeoff on that runway. Now, once he ensures that that runway is, is clear, the local controller will say something on the lines of uh, Bones 1, Tindal Tower, runway 1 through right. And he's going to give them whatever wind information we have because they need to know what, what the winds are for the day. And he's going to clear them for takeoff. Now, this, now and then, the plane is going to go out on the runway and he's going to line up and the local controller is going to make sure that nobody else is coming in front of him and nobody's coming behind him. And he's just going to watch him. And once the aircraft is ready to go, he's just going to take off on the runway and depart. Now once each and every aircraft is uh, airborne, you have to be able to land. So the next step is going to be to teach you how to get from 
the air to the ground. 